The president hasn't done his work. The president hasn't done what he's supposed to do. That's he hadn't provided the materials. He hadn't provided the... I mean, this is, this is ridiculous the way he's talking about it. You heard the president this yesterday. He said politics. that... This is life. All right, that's Joe Biden running for president against Donald Trump. Here's the question. How is he doing? Brand new national poll out today. Take a look at this. Biden versus Trump. What do they find? Biden leads. Five-point lead for Joe Biden. Now... We said earlier in the show there's a little bit of a change here. The last time, this is the CNN poll, the last time they took this poll, Biden also led, but the margin was 11. So in this poll, at least, the margin coming down from 11 a month ago to five right now. Now, of course, every one poll can be an outlier. Every one poll can show something that no other poll is showing. But what CNN is picking up on here, a tightening of the Biden-Trump race in recent polls, is something we've been seeing in the polls over the last week or two. So if you take the average of every poll, if the CNN national poll has Biden up by five right now, what is the average of all of the different polls out there showing right now? Uh, we can put that up on the screen here. It's about a four and a half point lead. This is the average of all the polls. Biden 47-7, Trump 43-2. So it's about a four and a half point lead for Joe Biden. Now remember, about a month ago, about three weeks ago, that lead for Biden was getting up to six, seven, eight points in national polls. It was a much more definitive lead. So it's still an advantage for Joe Biden, but now it's down to about four and a half. That's a good place to be if you're a candidate for president, certainly. But remember also what comes into play the closer this gets. What did we find out in 2016? Donald Trump doesn't have to have more of the national popular vote than his opponent. He just needs to be close enough in the national popular vote to put the electoral college in play. And that sort of sets up an interesting second poll within the poll that CNN did here. Let me show you this. They took a bunch of battleground states, and it's an arbitrary. Everybody can define the battleground states differently. CNN picked what they say are the battleground states in this, and then they polled them, and they said, what is the result just within these battleground states, the ones that are going to make the difference in the electoral college? And they have, in the states that they call the battleground, Trump leading 52 to 45, and in this same set of states in 2016, Trump won by a point. So keep that in mind. Now, I want to keep, in, uh, keep it clear here, by the way, when we say a battleground poll, you're not talking about huge samples in every one of these states. There's a higher margin of error here. So take this with a grain of salt. What it really is is just a reminder that the closer the polls get, the closer the national polls get, when they start getting within four, three, two points, if they come to that level, then you're getting to a place where the Electoral College really starts to kick in. We saw that in 2016. So when Biden's got a lead in a poll of seven, eight, nine points, that is probably big enough where anything that happens in the Electoral College is still going to result in a Biden victory. But when it starts to get to four, three, or two points, that, as we saw in 2016, is when you got to think about the Electoral College. So I think it's a reminder from CNN of that dynamic. Every time you look at the national polls, you probably trained yourself this anyway in 2016, but every time you look at the national polls, remember, a lead for Biden isn't necessarily victory in November.